Good evening, and welcome to the fascinating web series where we dive into the obscure world of internet communication, exploring chat rooms and the creepy people that lie within them. All conversations and people in these episodes are completely real, and as a warning, some of the content can be disturbing and some people may wish not to view. With that being said, please enjoy. Discord Predator Hunting Tonight, on Discord, Predator Hunting, we'll be talking to a man who loves his own body so much, he feels the need to show it off to who he believes is a 13-year-old girl. Take a look. Once again, I will be showing one of the old conversations that took place in my direct messages. This will be the last episode where I'll be using the profile Jenna X. As I mentioned in the previous episode, this account was terminated for terms of service violations. Since then, I have set up a new profile, which will be kept anonymous until the next episode, as it has happened in the past where I've been recognized for these episodes. Jenna X was my alternate account, which had a shopped version of my own face as the display picture, where I'd also joined multiple servers intended for dating, teen dating servers being among them. Today we will be focusing on a predator who goes by the online alias of CM Cravo. He is male and 19 years of age. He makes his way into my DMs. Hey there. I respond. Hey. He asks me what brings me to the server he found me in, so I reply like any normal bored teenage girl. Yes, looking to meet new people, you know. You? He replies with a similar reason. About the same, looking to have some fun. Not entirely sure what he might be implying, I ask his age. How old are you? He tells me. 19. You? So I tell him what I tell the rest of the predators I talk to. 13. Is that okay? His immediate answer should be no and nothing else. So, after hardly any reassurance, he's already asking if I'm looking for a good time sexually. When I ask him if that is what he is looking for, he tells me. Kinda. But I'm a bit scared of your age. I could get in trouble. The simple answer? Stop talking to them. Stop talking to who you believe is a 13-year-old girl and save yourself getting in trouble. If the person is aware that it's going to get them in trouble, why don't they just stop and move on to someone who is of their age? Anyway, I tell him. I won't tell anyone if you don't tell anyone. He remains cautious and says, I'm not thinking of telling anyone. I won't show my face though. At the start at least. Is that fine? So I respond. Yes, that's fine. Following that, he asks to see me, and also inquires to whether or not I'm new to these sorts of things, possibly to give him some idea of how much he can get away with, so I make him aware that I am clueless as to how this works. But then he asks, You a virgin? Um, yes. What do you like? In what context? Sexually. Definitely not what an adult man should be asking a 13-year-old girl, so I say, Well, I don't really know what I like. And then he follows that up with an even more inappropriate question. Do you blank sometimes? Not creepy enough? Well, after I tell him I've never tried it, he goes on to ask, You find yourself horny. Acting as innocently as possible, I say, Is that where I get the feeling when I like boys? He elaborates, You feeling really attached to someone? Wanting to touch him, feeling wet and lonely. So I tell him I felt like that before, but never knew what to do about it. He goes on to ask me what I find attractive, so I reply. Hot guys. Then he makes a request as to whether or not I find his body attractive. Okay. And without hesitation, sends a picture of him showing the outline of his erect penis beneath his underwear. This episode ends quite abruptly as I felt no need to take it any further and felt I had already got enough evidence. And that's it for tonight's episode of Discord Predator Hunting. Now, before you start getting angry that this was such a short episode, during the process of making this episode and gathering all the evidence, since then, I've been talking to a numerous amount of new predators who are much, much worse than the ones you've seen in this video and the one before this. I'm talking actual voice calls with predators. I'm talking urine. You heard me right, urine. If you want to see those, I definitely recommend that you subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification button, of course, and share this video like there is no tomorrow so we can expose these disgusting people. Anyway, as always, I've been Pick Surprise. Stay safe and goodbye.